and diagonal. We are going to discuss the channel allocation. What is channel allocation? A given radio spectrum is to be divided into a set of disjoint channels that can be used simultaneously while minimizing interface in adjacent channel by allocating channel appropriately. Channel allocation schemes can be divided in general into fixed channel allocation, dynamic channel allocation, hybrid channel allocation, channel allocation. In DCS scheme, all channels are kept in central pool and are assigned dynamically to new calls as they arrive in the system. After each call is completed, the channel is returned to, to the central pool. It is fairly straightforward, straightforward to sel select the most appropriate channel for any call based simply on current allocation and current traffic with the aim minimizing the interfaces interference. DCS scheme can overcome the problem of FS scheme. However, variations in DCS scheme center are around different cost functions used for selecting one of the candidate channel for assignment. DCS scheme can be centralized or distributed. The centralized DCS scheme involves a single controller selecting a channel for each cell. The distributed DCS scheme involves a number of controllers scattered across the network. Centralized DCS scheme can theoretically provide the best performance. However, the enormous amount of computation and communication among DCS leads to excessive system latencies and renders centralized DCS scheme impractical. Nevertheless, centralized DCS scheme often provide a useful benchmark to compare practical decentralized DCS scheme. Now, static channel allocation. In fixed channel on Now, static channel allocation. It is also called fixed channel allocation or fixed channel assignment. In each cell, given a predetermined set of frequency channels, FSA requires manual frequency planning, which is arduous task in TDMA and FDMA based system. Since such systems are highly sensitive to co-channel interference from nearby cells that are reusing the same channel. Another drawback with TDMA and FDMA system with FSA is that the number of channels in the cell remains constant irrespective of the number of customers in that cell. This results in traffic congestion and some calls being lost when traffic gets heavy in the in some cells and ideal capacity in other cells. If FSA is combined with conventional FDMA and perhaps or TDMA, a fixed number of voice channels can be transferred over the cell. A new call can only be connected by an unused channel. All the channels are occupied that then the new call is blocked in this system. There are, how, however, several dynamic radio resource management schemes that can be combined with FSA. A simple form is traffic adaptive handover threshold, implying that calls from cell phones situated in the overlap between two adjacent cells can be forced to make handover to, to the cell with lowest load for the movement.